Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. You are looking at the supplies, or some of them, for today's project. <laughs> We've got a lot of things. It's about 2 in the afternoon right now. Uh, it gets dark at about 5.30, and I need to build fencing, put this pre-made shelter that we bought, because I just don't have time to build one. We'll do that later on. Pre-made shelter, fencing, uh, get it set up and build a gate in uh, the next three or four hours. I can put a light out if I need to. So we have our goat and sheep fencing, as well as we have this little calf hut. This is for uh, calves. Usually, I think they use them to like raise calves for veal and other things like that. We're not doing that, but it'll be a perfect little shelter for three little Nigerian dwarf goats. I think they'll fit in here nice and snug. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but we had to do it. We got to get these uh, these animals cared for. It's hard to move with all these animals. So, but let me show you what we're going to build and where we're going to build it, and then we'll dig in and get started. Little fun fact about this house. You can see I've been just kind of dumping stuff off here. I haven't got it organized yet, but this is the uh, the south or sorry the north side of the house, and there is an old propane tank up here that is not connected. It was just left, I think, because they probably couldn't get it out, and they went to a new propane company. There's this uh, four foot retaining wall that goes all the way around here to the corner of the garage. And there is no way to get to the backyard except through here. Uh, there's no road, there's no trail, there's no stairs. <laughs> it's not, you either go through the house or you go through this. So I'm probably gonna build some stairs right here to get up to this spot. There's some barrels that we brought and some other junk that they left here. We're gonna clean all this up. Uh, and this is kind of like the backyard of the house. And out here in this wonderful wood, woodland, there will be a goat pasture. And so today I'm gonna to take you through building some fencing using the natural resources that we have. Obviously I have to buy the fence, but I wanna use as few posts as possible. And so we're gonna build this thing using a lot of trees uh, instead of wooden posts. So all of our corners will be trees and uh, hopefully some gate posts and other things we're gonna to try to use trees for. So the goats are gonna absolutely love, they love to play and jump on things. There's rocks in here, there's uh, we can throw some of these little buildings in there. They can jump on that stuff. And so we'll have a bunch of space for them to play in here. Um, and they love the uh, woodland resources, all the little vining things and uh, seedlings and leaves and stuff like that in the springtime. So they'll love this, uh, this area. But it ain't gonna be easy. So we better get started. Uh, lifting just the fencing up over this ledge and the shelter and stuff, it should be fun. Uh, so wish me luck. Uh, it should be entertaining for you guys at least. So let's uh, let's dig in and I'm gonna get my little buddy out here, my little helper, and hopefully she can uh, maybe, I don't know, call 911 or something if it gets real bad. I'm totally blind. Yeah. I'm totally Follow blind. Me straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm fine. I just can't see. If I could just get whoa. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I want to take a video of this. Turtle. 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 So one of the tricks to making your fencing straight and nice and tight, which is the goal, is putting tension on it. And we're going to do that with 
a fence puller. So I'm just gonna weave this this uh, stick here. I hope this doesn't break. I usually use a pipe, but I uh, I think it's still at the old house. So we're gonna use this. We get a chain on it. It's actually snowing out here right now, but it's uh, it's really nice when you're working. It's a lot better than rain, I'll tell you that. I want to pull as straight with my fence as possible because I'm going to staple it to that tree. Use a nice soft strap here so I don't wreck this tree. Oh, don't fall! That's pretty good right there, nice and tight. And we'll keep the staples, we'll keep it right down to the ground. There's our first tree where the gate will go. And then I'm coming around the back side of this tree. And then we're gonna come around that one and go up, up the hill there. So uh, I'm tensioning it here. We'll staple it. We'll staple it here. And then I'm gonna put two T-posts in here, but I'm gonna come back and do those afterwards. It's gonna loosen up just a little bit and I'm gonna use those T-posts to push it and put the T-post in so it keeps it tight. So I'm gonna come right up the center here. So I'm skipping two knots and then putting a staple in. So one, two, and then you put the staples in on a diagonal so that it's a miracle that I saw that. So two knots and one over right here. And then what I like to do is I'll put one this way and then the next one I'll put this way. And so you just, you grab this wire and this wire and then the next I'll grab the top, you know, each side of it. In case anything breaks or whatever, you've got it alternated back and forth. That'll grow right, that tree will grow right over to that fence. It won't hurt it at all. I'm gonna have to, it's tight at the bottom, but not really at the top. So I'm probably gonna have to make some kind of a fold here in the fence, which is unfortunate, but I gotta make up that gap somehow. So I have to do that and we'll staple it right up here. Now, because this train is uneven, I'm gonna do my best to put a T-post in here and pull that down to the ground, but this valley right here will be a gap. My plan is I have all these rocks in here, tons of rocks, probably from this farm field. Uh, a lot of times they'll you know clear the field out and they just chuck them in the woods. So there's just, just piles of them, which is so cool because our last property had no rocks. So we can use these for all kinds of things. So we'll come back and get this straightened out at the end. I'm going to finish running around my last two corners and make it all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I need that stick. No... 
one of the best parts about working with an eight-year-old is there's never a shortage of commentary ah! or entertainment. No need for radio stations or. Like better with it? With power? power? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on video? <laughs> yeah, there's a hole right here. Gosh, that's funny. Well, the last part of this is getting these little hangers on here. This attaches the uh, wire to the post and helps to straighten things up and fix any sagging areas in between the trees. So I bought a, you get a bag of these and uh, these little little hooks here. Now, I don't know if I'm using these, uh, I guess the, the by the book way, but I put the small, I put the small side on here first and then I loop it around. And then the long side here, I can get through and just tighten it. This one's on, a, on an angle here. And I just wrap it around with this tool. So this fencing, this fencing tool is a channel lock fencing tool. The best, one of the best things I've ever bought. I mean, as far as fencing goes, uh, this thing is, is a monster. It has all kinds of wire cutters on it and these little grips in here they help grab the wire and you can just spin it on the fence and it tightens it right around the wire so you can do that to both sides and it just sucks that thing in nice and tight so it can't move and it can't move up or down because there's little bumps on the back side of the post and then it can't move side to side it's just locked right on there so uh, these things work really well and this tool makes it uh, makes it real easy so it's easy, usually put one at the bottom and then one about halfway up and then one at the top. I actually didn't put too many T-posts in. I just put uh, a couple, you know, in these uh, long spans between trees and a couple over there, a couple, uh, one over there, but it's getting pretty dark. I may expand this pasture out into the woods, uh, out this way, here down the road, but uh, for right now, this will be it. Uh, I'd like to have two pastures so I could separate our buck out, but for today, this will be it. For the gate, I'll probably just cut a piece of, uh, cut a piece of fence and then just use some wire to attach it, make some kind of wire hinges uh, temporarily until I can make a nice wooden gate there. But. Uh, this should work out pretty good. We've got electricity up here uh, by the house so I can run a heated uh, water thing out. And uh, we've got some light back here somewhere. There's a spotlight up there that doesn't work. I'll have to fix that too. So we're coming along here little by little. All right, well, it has been uh, another day since we finished the, the goat fencing. It got kind of dark <laughs> that night. So we finally have our goats in here. And so let's see how they're doing. So we've got Lily and Goaty, Goaty McGoatface, and then uh, 
at them out there. And so, oh, great. But the fencing, I think, is going to work out good. It's not not a huge pasture, but it's a, it's a pretty good size. And I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually extend it out into the woods and make a second pasture out there, like I talked about. And then we'll have kind of a, a trail. There's, there's kind of a pre-made trail along here. Uh, where we'll be able to get back to the back of the woods and stuff. So we'll keep adding on uh, little paddocks like this so that we end up having a good place to rotate the uh, the goats out into the forest and let them kind of uh, forage for, for food in different areas. Um, but uh, this will work out good. The fencing turned out really good. Um, it's nice and tight. And uh, using the, cor the trees as the corner posts, those will obviously never, never sag, never pull in, and so everything will stay nice and tight uh, here for the for the fencing got one little spot back there in the corner that I need to tighten up um, when you're going around these trees because they have a uh, they, they bow out at the bottom where the roots come out you get a little bit of a slack at the top where it's tighter at the bottom and so um, I can fix that with a few staples and it should turn out pretty good so the hill that uh, is just on the the south side of this pasture here where I was <laughs> kind of coming down I got a little that roll of fencing is so heavy that I was afraid it was gonna take off and roll down the hill. I'd never get it back up, but uh, I ended up keeping it keeping it through these trees and worked out okay. But I might do do pasture down into this uh, ravine here too. The goats are climbers. They love to climb up hills and jump on all these logs and they would just love it down in this area. So uh, we may end up fencing down the hill at some point and uh, get, get some of this area fenced in as well. So the goats have a place to live. They have a, a pasture, they have a, a shelter to stay out of the wind and snow and water. And so they're set. And the next thing we need to do is work on getting our chickens taken care of. I have brought our chickens here. They're in the back of my truck right now. And uh, we're gonna work on the chicken coop next. We'll do that in another video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel, I'd love to have you tag along for this new adventure. We're starting from scratch here in our new homestead in the woods. So we'd love to have you tag along. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.